Today, I threw all 10 MCC 25 teams into the Hunger Games simulator to see what fun and wacky stuff we get. Let's hop right into it. Far of all people starts out the action by setting Solidarity on fire with the Molotov. And let's be honest here, if anyone was going to go out first, it was going to be Jimmy. Ant Frost somehow manages to lose a fight to a dishwasher. Never going to be S tier if he keeps this up. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I added one team full of MCC games and one team with the Nox crew and household appliances. Just to mix things up a bit. Oh boy, Buildmart is not pleased with all the slander it's been getting lately, and it starts out its revenge by setting off an explosive, killing Sapnap. Trouble takes out Hannah X Rose, and Ant Venom takes out Purpled. Elena, Pete, Velvet, and Grian start an alliance. Thor practices archery, but what he needs is... Hawkeye! No! Oh! oh my god! <laughs> right back into the action, we have the Nox crew forcing foolish gamers to kill smallish beans or washing machine. He chooses smallish beans. We now have Illumina trying to spearfish with his trident. I think he'd be better off winning ace race with it though. Wisp, Grian, Five Up, Punk, and Captain Sparkles hunt for other tributes. Although at this point it seems like Grian's teamed with half the players. And Frost questions his sanity. And heck, I would too if I lost to a fight to a dishwasher. Awesome Dude manages to kill both Kara and CPK. Mr. MCC himself will not be winning today. Sky Battle overhears puns and dishwasher talking in the distance. Probably trash talking Ant Frost. Jack Manifold falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Unlucky Jack. And to wrap things up on day one, Sands of Time gets a huge triple kill, killing Tubbo, Smajor, and Zeus. Day one cost us 11 tributes. The Cyan Coyotes representing District 6 have been decimated, but H has come back from worse. Night one begins with Green teaming with yet another participant. Wilbur, no, that man just killed three people. Don't let him in, don't do it. Wisp spears foolish gamers in the abdomen. Rambu bashes Ant Venom's head against a rock several times. Gruesome. Washing machine dies from hunger. How is that even possible? And now dishwasher dies from thirst? The appliances are dropping like flies. But it's not all sad news. Many participants are singing and telling stories to bring up morale. To end the night, Blushy defeats Shovel in a fight but spares her life. Fruitberries is pricked by thorns while picking berries. You see? You see why that's funny? Because fruit berries and berries? Yeah? In a sick twist of fate, Sands of Time decapitates H-Bomb with the sword. H-Bomb did everything for you, SOT. Everything. I mean, I know Green is a nice guy, but this nice? Also, that is a really scary group. Five Up falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Not even Blushy's karma from earlier can stop Rambu from killing. Day 2 ends with the old man getting some much needed medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. At this point, most teams have lost at least one member. Wilbur, Grian, and Ant team up to kill Awesome Dude. But seriously, Grian, spend some alone time or something. Fruit, Velvet, the Nox Crew, Toaster, and Sands of Time sleep in shifts. Although I don't know if I can trust SOT at this point. The captain dies trying to escape the arena, but at least he didn't get third. AMZ, Gumi, and Rambu cheerfully sing songs together. And if they weren't in a game designed to kill everybody, that actually sounds kind of fun. Buildmart begs for Snifferish to kill her. She refuses, keeping Buildmart alive. You know, with Dream and George out this event, maybe you actually have a chance, Buildmart. Night 2 ends with Ponk receiving some explosives from an unknown sponsor. That could do some damage. Puns cannot handle the circumstances and commit suicide. Poor puns. Now this just seems a bit overkill. Fruit, Illumina, Scar, and Noxcrew raid Amesy's camp while she is hunting. A rather uneventful day three ends with False Symmetry throwing a knife into Shovel's chest. Brutal. We lose four more on day three. Fruitberries falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Hmm. This reminds me of something. A nice cicada uh. <laughs> Oh my god, I just lobbed myself. Icky this. SOS. Oh, back in. <laughs> Fruity, right? Is she dead? Fruit, right? Oh, I'm so fruit, stupid. Fruit, fruit, fruit. Does anyone have water? Fruit? <laughs> I'm... fruit? No, I don't have water. I... Fruit! Fruit! <laughs> you are my chosen one! Ant Frost thinks about winning, but then again, when does he not? 
What's new with Grian? Nothing's new with Grian. Heat Trap kills Wilbur. Gumi manages to take down both Sniff and Filza in a fight. Night 3 ends with Scar pushing Jojo off a cliff. I'm rooting for you, Scar. Illumina attacks Pearl, but she manages to escape. It must have been the pain. Grian gets taken out by his own favorite game and Elena. What a sick, sick twist of fate. Day 4 ends with Gumi picking flowers. We lose 6 tributes on day 4. The pink parrots have been eliminated. The Nox crew, Ace Race, and Rambu start fighting. Ace Race makes it away as Nox crew kills Rambu. As Sky Battle thinks of home, you wonder, where is Sky Battle's home? Coaster, Wisp, Sands of Time, Buildmart, and Velvet sleep away the night in shifts. Illumina continues his hunt of Pearl, even though they're on the same team. Gumi dies of dysentery. Rip Gumi. Sky Battle dies from first. Again, not really sure how that's possible. Day 5 ends with Pete killing Scar with his own weapon. We lose 4 more on Day 5. The Green Geckos are eliminated. And despite Illumina's efforts to kill Pearl, all of the Blue Bats are still alive. Hey everyone, so I just realized that I was using an old finicky version, which of course deleted itself just a couple minutes ago. So, I've taken everyone that was still alive and moved to the newer, less buggy version. Take 2 starts now. The Nox crew script tell them to shoot an arrow at Amesy, but they miss and hit Ponk instead. Velvet severely slices Buildmont with the sword. Come on Velvet, you haven't even played it yet. Give it a chance. Now that we've reached the final 15 contestants, we start doing arena events. The first one, a poisonous smoke starts to fill the arena. Let's see how it goes. Amesy nobly sacrifices herself so Illumina can get away. He better bring this home now. Both the Nox crew and Ponk get pushed into the smoke without warning. Clearly not in the script, but unlucky for them. Also victims to the smoke is the final appliance, toaster, and false symmetry. We lost seven more tributes today, leaving just nine left in the competition. This is what the board looks like heading into day 7. Wisp attacks Pearl, but Pete, the adopted hermit, protects her, killing Wisp. Velvet receives some explosives, and he can do some damage with these. That takes us straight into the feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. We'll see how it goes. Ampharos shoots Eret. And finishing up the action for the day, Sands of Time shoots an arrow at Elena, but misses and hits Pearl instead. We lose three more tributes. Unfortunately, it was not meant to be. Velvet kills Anfrost as he tries to run. I was really, really rooting for these two to be the last. And after making it so far, Elena dies from an infection. That's a tough way to go out. Heading into day number 8, just 4 tributes stay alive. Sands of Time decapitates Ace Race and cements its place as MCC's favorite game. And Velvet, after causing so many shenanigans, accidentally detonates a landmine while he was trying to arm it. And finally, with just 2 tributes remaining, who will take it home? Pete, Pete, oh no Pete, you can't be doing that. Pete accidentally steps on a landmine, exploding it. Making Sands of Time our winner. And if this truly is a predictor of MCC, here are the three takeaways. Loads and loads of people will die in Sands of Time. Green will be your overall winner. And blue will start out really, really strong. And that does it. We're done. I would like to thank you guys so, so much for 1,000 subscribers. And this is only the beginning.